Well, hello and welcome to the tutorial um, on the new Danchuk uh, enhancement that we just put on the website, the wish list. Um, you're going to find that the wish list is going to come in really handy for you. Uh, we've been wanting to give you one for a while, so we're really happy that uh, that we're able to now. Um, let's get right into it. Um, to use the wish list, uh, the first thing you need is a, an account. So you'll want to log into your account. If you don't have an account, you'll have to create one. Um, here we're going to log in here under my account here. And uh, now we're at the Dantric homepage. If you want to look and see what's in your wish list or what you've been working on, you click the account button in the upper right hand side here. And then here under advanced account features, you'll see wish lists. Click on that. And you can see there's no wish list in here. There's nothing in the screen right now. Um, so let's uh, let's add a new wish list here. Uh, we'll call it uh, test wish list. And we'll share this or save this. And there we have the test wish list right here. Okay. Um, so we've done that. We want to view it. We click on view. You can see there's nothing in it now. If we want to add an item to here, and we're just punching items in, you know, let's say we want a 573, um, and then you'll see here, you'll get a 573 right here, five saddle five, pinserts. You want to add that item, and you can add it right here from this screen, and then just save it, and you're good. You have 499 or 699.95 in there. If you don't want the wish list anymore, you just click delete. A little thing at the top here comes up. Are you sure? Say OK. And then it deletes our wish list. OK. Let's go back out here. Let's look at cooling system stuff. How about a radiator? Oh, how about a fan shroud? Um, let's take a look at the fan shroud. And when we're in this screen, once you've looked it up, you can see the fan shroud is made here in the United States. And you have a couple of options over here on the right. You've had the cart add to your favorites. So if it's something that you buy frequently, you might want to add it to a favorites, make it simple for you. Or you can add to wish list, okay? We're going to add to wish list and click on that and it says add it to main. Okay, so if we go over here to account again now, you go to wish lists and you can see here that main now has $125 worth of stuff in there and there's a wish list in here called main. You want to view that, and it has our 16625 again, which we can go back to. We'll click it there. Okay, let's go to cooling system. Let's get a radiator going. Um, now, that's great that it was put in main there, but I'm also working on a, a car for my brother in law, and we're doing some stuff for him uh, on the cooling system as well. We're going to find one of these, um, yep, right here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get the, the, the U.S. radiator downflow um, unpolished aluminum radiator. And I don't want that in the main wish list because that's my wish list. So I want to add to a wish list. I want to add this to the wish list, but I used to do a little drop down here. We can use the main or add a new one. And let's put this... Uh, brother in law 55 and create a new wish list and then it'll put this in the wish list brother in law 55 come back up here to account again wish lists there you see you have another wish list in here you review that there you have your US radiator downflow radiator now you can add this to cart from here so if you decide to buy it or you can remove it from here if you decide that you don't want it and again you can add something like let's say 044 which is the upper radiator hose and we can add that item straight to this here with no, no problem and you don't have to go out and look for it okay so um your brother-in-law now you know he wants to see what it is that you're, uh, you're getting for him 
and so the easiest way for you to do that now that you've got it in your wish list is to share the wish list with your brother-in-law and so you're going to go here to share and in here you can put one or more email addresses supported, oh, separated by commas so we're going to put in the B. Roche and Dan Chuck because that's my email and um, my name is right here and so we're going to share that hopefully okay and so it says the wish list was shared that looks like it worked and so let's go here into my email Bill William Roach Dan Chuck here's my newest email came today at 414 and that's what time it is and look at this it says US radiator gives you the price and a hose it gives you the price $516.90 so that's pretty cool um, that's a pretty good feature and that makes it really simple for you um, to share the wish list with you know whoever you're going to share it with your wife or your kids or you know your dad and mom or whoever so um, we'll get rid of this here now and um, yeah so anyway so that's pretty much the wish list and then when you're all finished obviously you log out um, we're going to go back to the account and we'll go to wish list and let's say that we decided that uh, we think we're going to buy this fan truck so we're going to straight add that to cart and you can see up here it says cart zero right okay so we're going to add that to cart and we're going to update and now you can see that the cart shows one in there for $129 now very cool and then you can just either remove it or look at related items we'll go and look at these are all the items that cross sell upsells that we have uh, interesting okay and um, yeah or you can go to checkout then and uh, here you are at the checkout page put in your information and you're ready to go um, now another thing that's possible let's get into cart and get rid of this now okay we're going to save we don't want to save that okay so we're good okay the other thing um, that you can do which is pretty neat is in your wish list you can save this um, when this item here is out of stock and the um, system will email you a notice um, when the item comes back into stock automatically it just does it um, same with price changes let's say that this price is going to change to $598 um, the system will email you and let you know that one of the items that you have in your saved cards or your wish list has just gone up in price so I can't show you that here because it would be too much to try and show you that right now but but the system will do that for you as well so anyway there you go that's the tutorial for our uh, our new wish list um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to call us and we'll we'll, we'll help you out if we can um, just ask for Bill and I walk you through whatever you need and give you a hand or whatever you need all right so uh that's it we're uh we're done working today we'll click log out and that's it thanks a lot bye